Hello everyone and thank you for watching this episode of Radio Free QuickBooks TV live from Studio 2B <laughs> at the Intuit headquarters for tax in Plano, Texas. My name is Woody Adams, I'll be your host uh, and you know, we've been doing the show for a couple of years now on the radio so we're very excited to bring it more to a more televised audience if you will. I'm a product specialist with Intuit, been with Intuit for about eight years and I deal mostly with QuickBooks and QuickBooks related things. But of course co-founders, co-host of Radio Free QuickBooks. Uh, we've all been together for a couple years now, Stacey Kildall and Don Brolin. Don, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. Uh, first thing I always like to start out with, uh, say hello to people. My name is Don Brolin. Uh, who I am not, I always like want to make sure every show I have somebody different because I think there's a lot of confusion a lot of times when I'm out talking to people of who I really am. Um, in this episode, I'm not Megan from Bridesmaids. I'm not Megan. I'm not her younger sister or any of that kind of stuff. So I am not Megan from Bridesmaids, though some of the things that I say and do may sound or look in that direction. Okay. Uh, I have been told I'm a little bit smaller. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's definitely something I appreciate. So anyway, but I am an accountant. Yes. I'm an accountant. I do, uh, of course, QuickBooks uh, related um, <laughs> consulting, right. tax. Um, you know, CFO outsourced type of work, and I love it. So I'm, I'm happy to be here and RFQ TV, crank it out. <laughs> right. I love it. And Stacy Kildall, driver of the show, how are you doing today? I am fabulous as always. How are She's you? She's always fabulous. I'm fabulous. <laughs> always fabulous. Get right in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say that. And I don't know who Megan from Bridesmaid is at all, Bridesmaids. Okay. So I, I, That's all right. But so I, you can I'm research. sure it'll resonate probably research. with several people in the audience. You guys know who it is. And we also have, uh, per Dan Lowell, uh, our boss, uh, Ralphie, here is a turkey. Yes. Turkey day. Just yeah, wanted to let you guys day. know that. Love it. And I know Chicken, you're probably turkey. watching and hoping that turkey. RFQ would never get to the point of almost clownish type props. Right. But <laughs> I think that we're in Texas and it's okay. We, we can do this. So, we're but the, the it's top, what we do in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Fine. The topic for today is QuickBooks Online. And we talk about it a lot on the radio show. Yes. Uh, we, we always kind of, I mean, we're pretty fair. I believe we're fair and balanced over desktop, enterprise, POS, et cetera. But we do like QuickBooks Online because Stacy has been using it uh, since, I like to say junior high, but no. Uh, Almost close to junior high. It was probably about 10th grade because junior high for me was 7th through 9th uh, grade. Uh, so I started <laughs> using it in about 10th grade. Middle of 10th grade is when I started using QuickBooks Online. I'll be honest. I was about, you know, 15. So I, I had a question about that. At that time when QBO came out, so we're talking 2004, and, mm -hmm. and we're, I know we're kidding about that with the high school thing, but still, oh, um, I'm not. most of your peers, <laughs> <laughs> most of your peers were not on board with QBO really at all, but yet you saw it. So why? What was the that evolution there for you? This is right, and I used to refer to myself as a unicorn because I was really one of the only pro advisors that I knew. I was the only ProAdvisor that I knew who used QuickBooks Online and, and recommended it as much as I did. And the reason why I started using it was because I was fairly new to the ProAdvisor program. Uh, I think I joined in 2004 was my first certification. Okay. I had just started my business in 2003 and I saw that it was included in the ProAdvisor package mm -hmm. as some of the stuff, you know, we got a free subscription. Yep. So I thought, you know, I don't, I don't know that product, and it was either learn that or point yeah. of sale. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. So I thought, you know, um, I think I'm going to go with the QuickBooks yeah. Online. So I took my data file right. in desktop and I converted it to QuickBooks Online, and I've been using it ever since. So. And, and Dawn, uh, when you did that, she went down POS. But, I went POS. But, yeah. yeah, you went the POS and, road. I did. And I remember Dawn, we we had the discussion even as of like. The last year, we're, you're saying, well, I'm hosted because we all, you know, you guys are using Unidata anyway for hosting QuickBooks and your clients. I'm not coming. You know, I'm yeah. happy on the desktop. I that's know. fine. And, right. and, we're, and desktop's not going anywhere, just to make sure. And Jill has promised that, so we're going to go right on the yeah. camera and say that. But uh, I have a rumor, or I heard a rumor. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a rumor, and I've, I think I've said it on the radio show, but uh, specifically that uh, beginning January 1, I'm going to move my firm over to QBO. And there's two reasons why I'm doing that. Uh, two key reasons. One being that um, I feel like I need to be on the forefront just like everybody else, right? Just like everybody else who should be. Right. Um, clients are moving that way. Some clients are just starting out that way. They're yeah. not even going to the desktop. Um, I'm, I, w I will likely never abandon the desktop, you well, know, yeah. for various reasons. Right. I mean, it's all, you know, depending on the client. But I feel like I need to have in my arsenal, I need to have the QuickBooks online right. as a p product and a solution yeah. for those clients who want it and those clients who are looking at it. And so I was, I know Stacy was number one certified, certified first. Woo! So we'll, we'll talk about that a <laughs> yeah, little bit. But um, <laughs> I know that, that there's a huge market out there, and Jill talks about that in her keynote about, right. you know, the future and where things are moving. And I, I want to be on the forefront of that. Right. Yeah. And so I decided that in order for me to do that, I needed to be experiencing and learning it. And so what better than your own QuickBooks data file, just exactly. like you did. Yep. Yeah. And I think with the, the QuickBooks Online accountant, so we, we have that to, yeah. to help you guys support QuickBooks Online clients with different tools. And we'll, we'll talk about that with another, uh, in another episode. But you do get your own company file. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? so absolutely. So you, you're going to convert your data over there. Yeah, and then do on, into an online payroll. Oh, because yeah. I don't I love, use that right, right. now. I'm using I it love enhanced. I love I love okay. Intuit Online Payroll because I love the app. It's actually my favorite app on my phone. I'm right. jealous. Love okay, it. but the you know the other reason is because I feel like again I want to be more mobile. Right. I want to also be able to use um, connectivity between with QuickBooks Online. Are we you know are we moving with the Intuit Tax Online right. and starting to just really kind of put it all together as we talked cool. with Jim Buffington about how you know putting it all in one place kind of thing mm -hmm. and being able to have the different applications work together. Right. And I want to be on the forefront of that too. Right. And right now I'm not, and I'm jealous that she gets to use her phone for her payroll. Right. You know, we sat in an airport one day and she talks about this. Yeah. And she was doing the payroll, and I was like, right. I gotta log on and do, it. and it was just so much more cumbersome for and, me. Um, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go with you guys. Oh yeah, we did I do be that like one you. time on one of our trips. Yeah. So you had to log into yeah. the desktop, yeah. and I was just, I wanna yeah, like, I'm just <laughs> gonna pull my phone yeah. out. I and and do payroll IOP, for eight clients right now. Yeah, yeah. IOP is thumb. a platform for payroll for QBO. So Stacy, QuickBooks Online, a quick high level. Before we do a demo, we're actually going to be doing downloaded transactions and the money bar income list. Income list. Yeah. Uh, before we get to that, your kind of high level differences uh, for QBO versus desktop. So one of the things that I like, you know what, I'm going to let Dawn talk about oh. what she likes best yeah. uh, with QBO versus desktop. So interestingly enough, we, we got an opportunity to spend some time together outside of RFQ, yes. right? So. Uh, but, but of course, we always have to do something with QuickBooks because right. we can't stand like more than five yeah. minutes without yeah. talking about it. So it's we were sitting sickness. together, it's, it's a sickness, bad. and she showed me the downloaded transactions. <laughs> and so yeah. I, I, it, it just really functions amazingly compared yeah. to the desktop. Yeah. Okay, that's just, that's one thing. And I would say that that's probably, and I know this freaks Stacy out, is that it's my favorite thing that really turned me to say, you know what, I really need to move this way. Right. Because the other, and probably most important for accountants feature of QuickBooks Online that you can't get in the desktop, is the multiple AR and AP in one transaction, in uh, one journal, journal entry. Yeah. And I've been talking about that for it's, years, uh, Stacey and I, I mean, it's just, it's like the biggest topic. Well, yeah, and when Dawn discovered multiple AP, AR in a journal entry, you called. Yeah, I called and you. And you said, I think I broke it. <laughs> I, 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 I think was I like, because you're so used to limitations. Call tech support, man. Right, we so got a so problem. I think I broke it. I was able to what? save the journal entry in QBO yeah. for that, and I did. I did multiple lines, why? Am I in the like, wrong system yeah. entirely, right? It yeah. was awesome. You switched universes. Yeah. Yes. But that's kind of what it is. So other thing, and before you, you're going to show downloaded transactions? I right? am going Let's to do that. Let's, yeah, then we'll come back yeah, to those Because it's real hot. Yeah. So downloaded transactions was just released uh, the summer of 2012. So if you have been using sure. QuickBooks Online for a little bit longer uh, and you don't see that in your banking menu, you can actually convert to it. So it will say online banking mm -hmm. if you don't have it. And then you can actually go into online banking, and there's a little thing that you can click that says you want to change to downloaded transactions. Good to know. But as I'm in QBO, and the one thing that I want to mention is as you hover over the tabs, you don't need to click on the tabs. You can just hover over them and then click the downloaded transactions from the menu ribbon that uh, comes up as you hover over well, those you tabs. You hydroplane. QBO's hydroplane. Yeah, hydroplane. you yeah. do you kind of hydroplane a little yeah. bit. Hovering. Yeah. I like that, too. Hovering, yeah, hovering. over yeah. the, what did That's you call fine. it again? The tabs. The tabs. You're well, hovering over the tabs, and the, what did you call the menu here? I call it a menu ribbon. Menu ribbon, okay. Yeah. So I like that. Or I just yeah. want to point those well, critical it's, things it's out. It's pretty. Right. That's what I, I like to call it that. Okay. 
So as you're looking at downloaded transactions, the one thing that I want to point out, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, is we have the ability to look at 25, 50, or 100 transactions at a time. Nice. Where with the old online banking, we were only able to look, see about four or five at a time. Oh. Uh, so this is a really this is nice, clean interface. Uh. Uh, if you see over here to the left, we can look at all of our accounts. If you have multiple right. accounts, m multiple bank accounts or credit card accounts, you can look at all of them and just deal with all of the transactions all at one That's time. Really yeah. awesome. yes. That's really awesome. That's I really, really yeah. like that. Uh, I am going to scooch this over just a little bit so you guys can see mm -hmm. on my screen. Um, so what you can see here is you can go through each transaction. We have some that are uncategorized. So you just want to choose, you know, what account, uh, you know, what expense account these would go to. And as you scroll down and you reallocate these to the correct expense accounts right. or whatever they are, match them to whatever they need to be matched to. Uh, once you get all of that done, at the top over here, you can click that top box, that little right. check box, and you can go ahead and you can accept all of them at once. Oh, so you can take that hundred, those nice. hundred transactions. Right. And QuickBooks Online, uh, the, uh, the we call it DTX or downloaded transactions, it learns really quickly. So uh, once you start posting those transactions right. and allocating them the right way, and you can post class uh, location tracking because QuickBooks Online also yeah, does location types of class tracking, tracking exactly. as well as class tracking. Yeah. Uh, so you can post those as well and mm -hmm. you can just hit accept it and it will accept all of them at once. Nice. If there's a transaction that you don't want to include, maybe because you've already reconciled that right. particular transaction or maybe it's um, you used a business card or your client used a business card for personal expense, sure. for whatever reason you need to exclude it, you actually can just select that transaction and click the exclude button oh, and perfect. you can just drop that down and you can just either exclude or exclude. So it's flexible and, and it also downloads each day's worth, right? So you don't have yeah. to download the Every statement over and over again and like in desktop. Yep, gotcha. mm -hmm. exactly. Now another one too, uh, the income list slash money bar. That's Love uh, the income list. So this is a tool when I first saw it, I thought I'm probably not going to use it that much because I really deal mostly with sales receipts with my clients. Right. Uh, but I have found that I use it, it's, I really would like this to be the first thing that I see when I log into QuickBooks yeah, like Online. A dashboard. Like, yeah, yeah, like a dashboard. Like I'd like to set that as my kind of opening my home page. So when you log into that, the, the way you don't Sorry. log in, but when you get to that, you're going to hover over your customer tab and you're just going to click on income list from the menu ribbon. And up at the top you see the what we call the money bar or the money progress yeah. bar. And if you click on each one of these, it will filter the list by whatever transaction. So we have estimates, we have uh, unbilled time and cost, open invoices, as well as paid invoices. And from here too, we can actually create new transactions. You had nice. Kim Amsbaugh made a payment to you? Yeah. <laughs> That's right? hot. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. That's awesome. So you nice. can create that uh, estimate. You can convert it to an invoice. Uh, you can do all of these things right. right from the income list. And whenever you're done with that transaction, it takes you right back to the income list. So it's yeah. really nice. I like no, the perfect. List. So. I mean, so QuickBooks Online, uh, come a long way if you haven't seen it in a while. There's actually a platform now for accountants that makes it easier to support your QBO clients. And you can see where they're going. Like less data entry, yeah. downloading stuff, but still kind of fun. And I actually like the horizontal menus. I like the hydroplaning. I'm I all over too. that. And you can hover. Like people will click it and it'll open up this other window and they're right. like, what and happened? They're confused, can't find exactly. stuff. That's probably yeah. a really big tip. Well, so the navigation made. tips, and, and I want to let you guys know if you, um, Stacey has a great blog article on sleeter.com slash blog on uh, QuickBooks Online tips and tricks, yeah. navigation, yep. things like multiple tabs in Chrome. We love Chrome for QBO. Okay, Chrome, Chrome is the recommended browser uh, for QuickBooks Online, definitely. And then we also need to talk about QBOA just for one second. Yeah, sure. Um, I just want to mention that uh, if you're an accounting professional, uh, QuickBooks Online Accountant gives you a lot of extra tools that are accountant specific. So yeah. you can batch reclassify, you can write off, uh, you can look on one screen when your clients have maybe made a little mistake during their bank no, reconciliation. That not happen. <laughs> maybe forced it with an adjustment. Right. You can see that. You can mm -hmm. see it all the months that they've done it to. You can also yeah. look and see in that same screen uh, if they have made any changes to transactions that might have already been cleared. Mm, so that's nice. kind of a big deal. Yeah. So, and we'll talk about QBO, I think, on another show. And remember, you can peel the tabs off of Chrome, put them on another monitor. Can't do that in desktop. Can't. That's Try to put hot. a register on another monitor. Can't, can't do, do it. it. Can't. No. So yep. it's kind of locked. You're kind of locked. Yeah, there. locked down. But, um, so good stuff. I mean, we're fans of QBO. We talk about it a lot. Um, you use it based for, well, you said what, 50% of your clients? I'd say about half my clients are QBO. Right on. The other half are desktop, whether they're pro, premier, enterprise. 
And Don, it's just a cool story that you're yeah. considering and, converting the platform. You know? And I would say, you know, certainly to other uh, pro advisors who are out there, yeah. get yourself, find a client. Just pick one. If it's pick not one. yourself, find right. someone that you in-house do their books, yeah. right? Yeah. The client doesn't need to see it. Um, typically, uh, convert that file over, get started, yeah. and just do one file. We've yeah. talked about that before on air, so yep. let's just try it. So I happen to just, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with mine. Well, uh, we appreciate you guys listening to Radio Free QuickBooks uh, t uh, TV and the QBO episode. Uh, Ralphie, anything? No? So what we're going to do is hold the shot, three, two, one, like we do, like we learned uh, the fun way. Yeah. Three, two, one, and we're out, Radio Free QuickBooks. Thanks for watching this episode of RFQ TV. For more episodes of RFQ TV, you can check out IntuitAcademy.com. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and if you'd like to continue the discussions, you can find us on LinkedIn.